Hey guys, welcome to the 80th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the color dialog. So all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button. And once you have that on your form, just go ahead and double click on it. So in order to create a new color dialog, just go ahead and type out color dialog. Now you can name your color dialog. I'm just going to call it CD or color dialog. And then just go ahead and set it equal to a new color dialog. Just like every other dialog, we're going to make sure that the user actually selects something in the color dialog. So we're going to do cd.showdialog, oops, show dialog, and if the result of that is OK, then we can continue on with our business. We're going to set um, the button one's background color equal to whatever color that the user selects in the color dialog. So we're going to do button one dot back color equals cd dot um, color and this color property is it says right there gets or sets the color selected by the user so whatever color that the user selects will now be button one's background color so now when we debug here we should get a color dialog yep now we can uh, choose a basic color or we can find our own custom color over here I'm just going to make it I guess it's blue uh, add to custom color, select that color, and click OK. And when I click OK, button one's background color should change to this blue. Yep. You can also choose if you want the user to be able to uh, have a custom color or create a custom color. So in order to do that, you're going to want to use the allow full open property, and you're going to want to set that equal to false if you don't want if you don't want them to be able to. Um, create and select a custom color. So now I'm going to debug here and click this click me button. Yeah, you can't define a custom color. So you are forced to choose a basic color. Another thing you can do is have that uh, color or that custom color uh, feature open as soon as they uh, open the dialog. In order to do that, you're just going to want to set the full open property equal to true. So as soon as you open the color dialog, it will show this uh, custom colors over here. So it's automatic. Another thing you can do is implement a help button. In order for the help button to appear, you have to do um, cd.showhelp and set that equal to true. And now the help button will appear in the color dialog. Yep, the help button is there. In order to um, have something happen when you uh, when somebody clicks the help button, you're going to have to um, add a method to the uh, event. So we're going to do cd dot help request, and then we're just going to do plus equals to add a new event handler. We're just going to press tab twice, and it just created a method for us for uh, whenever someone clicks the help button. So whenever someone clicks the help button, we're just going to tell them that. Um, Choose, oops, choose a color for the background of oops, spell this right, background of your button. So now when we debug here and someone clicks the help button, we should get this message box. Yep, choose a color for the background of your button. So now we can choose the background for the color of our button. And yep, it changes that just like before. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial on the color dialog. So see you guys.